important update for everyone expecting their $2,000 stimulus check. In this video, we'll provide the latest information on when your payment will be deposited. You'll find out the exact dates to look out for and how to ensure you receive your money without any delays. We'll also explain why it's crucial to have your Economic Impact Payment IIP card by the 31st. We'll guide you through checking your payment status, understanding the deposit schedule, and what to do if you encounter any issues. Stimulus checks and economic impact payments have become a crucial tool in the government's arsenal to combat economic downturns and provide relief to citizens during times of crisis. These direct payments, while simple in concept, involve a complex system of eligibility determination, calculation, and distribution. The process begins with legislation passed by Congress and signed into law by the President, which outlines the specifics of the stimulus program, including who qualifies and for how much. The Internal Revenue Service IRS plays a central role in the distribution of stimulus checks. Using the most recent tax return information available, the IRS determines eligibility based on factors such as income level, filing status, and number of dependents. This process is automated to handle millions of cases efficiently, but it's not without its challenges. For instance, individuals whose circumstances have changed since their last tax filing may need to take additional steps to ensure they receive the correct payment amount. Once eligibility is determined, the IRS calculates the payment amount for each recipient. This calculation can vary based on the specific legislation, but it typically involves a base amount for individuals, with additional amounts for married couples and dependents. Many stimulus programs also include a phase-out range, where the payment amount gradually decreases for higher-income individuals or families. This tiered approach aims to target the relief towards those who need it most while still providing some benefit to a broad range of citizens. The distribution of stimulus payments involves several methods, each with its own advantages and potential drawbacks. Direct deposit is the fastest and most efficient method, allowing the IRS to transfer funds electronically to the bank account on file. This method not only speeds up the process for recipients but also reduces administrative costs for the government. However, not everyone has a bank account on file with the IRS, necessitating alternative distribution methods. For those without direct deposit information, the IRS may send paper checks or economic impact payment EIP cards. Paper checks, while familiar to most recipients, can take longer to arrive and may be at risk of being lost or stolen in the mail. IIP, IIP cards, introduced during the COVID-19 pandemic, offer a more secure alternative to paper checks. These prepaid debit cards can be used like any other debit card, allowing recipients to make purchases, withdraw cash from ATMs, or transfer funds to a personal bank account. The introduction of IIP cards represents an evolution in the distribution of government payments, leveraging modern financial technology to enhance security and convenience. However, their unfamiliarity to some recipients has led to confusion, with some people mistaking the cards for junk mail or scams. This highlights the importance of clear communication from government agencies about what recipients should expect and how to use these new payment methods. Throughout the stimulus payment process, the Treasury Department works closely with the IRS to ensure smooth implementation. This collaboration extends to other government agencies as well, particularly when it comes to reaching eligible individuals who may not have filed recent tax returns. For example, the Social Security Administration may provide information to help identify eligible seniors or disabled individuals who don't typically file taxes. The impact of stimulus checks on the broader economy is a subject of ongoing debate among economists and policymakers. Proponents argue that putting money directly into the hands of consumers provides an immediate boost to spending, which can help stimulate economic activity during downturns. Critics, however, raise concerns about the long-term effects of increased government spending and potential inflationary pressures. Regardless of the economic debates, the personal impact of stimulus checks on individual recipients can be significant. For many families struggling with job losses, reduced hours, or unexpected expenses, these payments can provide crucial support for basic needs like food, housing, and health care. Some recipients may use the funds to pay down debt, while others might save the money as a financial cushion against future uncertainties. The implementation of large-scale stimulus payment programs is not without challenges. The sheer scale of distributing payments to millions of Americans in a short time frame can strain government systems and resources. During the COVID-19 pandemic, for instance, the IRS faced unprecedented demands on its infrastructure, leading to delays in processing payments and responding to inquiries from the public. 
Another challenge lies in ensuring that all eligible individuals receive their payments. Despite efforts to reach everyone, some groups may be at risk of being overlooked. This includes people experiencing homelessness, those without bank accounts or stable addresses, and individuals who don't typically file tax returns due to low income. Outreach efforts and alternative claim procedures are often necessary to ensure these vulnerable populations can access the financial support they're entitled to. The security of stimulus payment distribution is another critical concern. With large sums of money being distributed, the potential for fraud and scams increases. Government agencies must implement robust security measures to protect against unauthorized access to personal information and fraudulent claims. At the same time, they need to educate the public about potential scams, such as phishing attempts or imposter schemes that try to trick people into revealing sensitive information. As we've seen with recent stimulus programs, the specifics of eligibility, payment amounts, and distribution methods can vary based on the current economic situation and political considerations. This variability underscores the importance of staying informed about the latest developments through official government sources. The IRS website, in particular, serves as a crucial resource for up-to-date information on stimulus payments, including eligibility criteria, payment tracking tools, and frequently asked questions. The ongoing digitalization of financial services and government operations may lead to even more efficient systems for distributing economic relief in the future. Some experts have proposed the idea of a digital dollar, or central bank digital currency, which could potentially allow for near-instantaneous distribution of funds to all eligible citizens. While such proposals are still in the realm of speculation, they highlight the potential for technology to revolutionize how governments provide financial support to their citizens in times of need. As we consider the future of stimulus payments and economic relief programs, it's important to reflect on the lessons learned from past implementations. One key takeaway is the importance of clear, consistent communication from government agencies. During times of economic uncertainty, citizens rely heavily on official information to understand their eligibility for relief programs and how to access them. Misinformation or confusion can lead to anxiety and frustration, potentially undermining the effectiveness of the relief efforts. Another important consideration is the need for flexibility in relief programs. Economic crises can affect different segments of the population in varied ways, and a one-size-fits-all approach may not adequately address the diverse needs of citizens. Future stimulus programs may need to incorporate more targeted approaches, perhaps offering different types of assistance based on factors such as industry sector, geographic location, or specific economic indicators. The role of state and local governments in complementing federal stimulus efforts is also worth examining. While federal stimulus checks provide broad-based relief, state and local initiatives can often be more tailored to the specific needs of their communities. Some states, for instance, have implemented their own stimulus programs to supplement federal aid. This multi-layered approach to economic relief may become more common in future crises, allowing for a more nuanced and responsive system of support. Privacy concerns surrounding the distribution of stimulus payments are another area that warrants ongoing attention. The process of determining eligibility and distributing funds requires access to personal financial information, raising questions about data security and individual privacy rights. As technology evolves and more sophisticated systems are developed for managing these programs, it will be crucial to strike a balance between efficiency and the protection of personal data. The global context of economic stimulus programs is also worth considering. In an increasingly interconnected world economy, the actions taken by one country can have ripple effects across the globe. Large-scale stimulus programs in major economies, like the United States, can influence global financial markets, currency exchange rates, and international trade dynamics. As such, future implementations of stimulus programs may need to take into account not just domestic economic conditions, but also potential international ramifications. The environmental impact of stimulus programs is an emerging area of discussion among policymakers and economists. Traditional stimulus measures often focus on boosting consumer spending, which can lead to increased production and consumption of goods. However, as concerns about climate change and environmental sustainability grow, there may be a shift towards green stimulus programs that aim to boost the economy while also promoting environmentally friendly industries and practices.